weighing a mere three pounds, the human brain is the greatest mystery in the universe. An astronaut could sooner understand a black hole upon which he might come in his travels than to understand a human brain floating in the universe. He would not be able to comprehend this three pounds of meat. The brain of human beings contains 100 billion neurons, but here is the part to knock your socks off. The number of neural connections in a single human brain is equal to all the atoms in the universe multiplied by the age of the universe, the age of the universe not measured in years or light years, but in picoseconds. Originally a story that was written by Terry Bisson, published in 1991. It consists entirely of a dialogue between two characters. Now I'm going to modify it for my own purposes. And my modification includes that the commander was a biology major on his home planet. And in the story, he sends his lieutenant down to the surface of the Earth to determine where the intelligence resides in the human beings which they have identified as the intelligent species. The lieutenant returns to the mother ship and reports to the commander that he has completed his mission. The commander is very interested, having been a biology major. He wants to know where the intelligence is. Is it in their knees? Is it in their abdomens, their toes? The lieutenant says, sir, it's meat. It's in their head. Three pounds of meat. Startled, the commander says, meat? Are you asking me to believe in thinking meat? Now, in essence, that's the story. That's the miracle. How can one understand that three pounds of meat can think? Terry Bisson's short story goes like this. They're made out of meat. Meat? Meat. They're made out of meat. Meat? There's no doubt about it. We picked up several from different parts of the planet, took them aboard our recon vessels, and probed them all the way through. They're completely meat. That's impossible. What about the radio signals? The messages to the stars? They use the radio waves to talk, but the signals don't come from them. The signals come from machines. So, who made the machines? That's who we want to contact. They made the machines. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Meat made the machines. That's ridiculous. How can meat make a machine? You're asking me to believe in sentient meat? I'm not asking you. I'm telling you. These creatures are the only sentient race in that sector, and they're made out of meat. Maybe they're like the Orphali, you know, a carbon-based intelligence that goes through a meat stage. Nope, they're born meat, and they die meat. We studied them for several of their lifespans, which didn't take long. Do you have any idea what the lifespan of meat is? Spare me. Okay, maybe they're only part meat, you know, like the Wetteli, a meathead with an electron plasma brain inside. No, we thought of that. Since they do have meatheads, like the Wetteli, but I told you we probed them, they're made out of meat all the way through. No brain? Oh, there's a brain all right. It's just that the brain is made out of meat. That's what I've been trying to tell you. So, what does the thinking? You're not understanding, are you? You're refusing to deal with what I'm telling you. The brain does the thinking, the meat. Thinking meat? You're asking me to believe in thinking meat? Now, don't go away. 
you can see a preview of my entire playlist. So go ahead and click the YouTube logo. You will be taken to my channel where you may subscribe and select the playlist either for this channel or for any of my other psychiatric playlists of possible interest to you. I hope to see you on YouTube. Bye.